Hey guys, this is Zach Hample and I am so excited today. I'm going to be doing something for you guys here on YouTube that I've never done before. Two games at two stadiums in one day. I'm outside Camden Yards right now in Baltimore. The game here starts at 12.35 p.m. against the Minnesota Twins and after this I'm going to be racing about 40 miles south to Nationals Park. There's a night game there against the Seattle Mariners. So it's really rare for the Major League schedule to work out this way where you can go to two stadiums in one day. I've done it a handful of times over the years, mostly in New York. Shea Stadium, Old Yankee Stadium, I did that at least once, maybe a few times, and then City Field and New Yankee Stadium. In 2011, I think that's the only time that I did this whole two-stadium doubleheader thing outside of New York. That was Progressive Field and PNC Park, a little Cleveland-Pittsburgh action. So today, yeah, we're going to do Baltimore, Washington, D.C. First time doing this for YouTube. Stadium is opening in, in about 10 minutes, so let's head on in there. Well, there's no batting practice today, as I expected. 12.35 p.m. games, the teams usually don't hit. And today in particular, there's a huge field trip for some local schools. It's Weather Education Day, so the local news is here, some meteorologists giving the kids a lesson on science and the weather. That's kind of fun, but obviously that makes it a little bit more challenging to catch baseballs. I did just get one tossed up by, I think it was Hector Santiago, pitcher on the Twins, so nice to get one early. And I see a few more guys playing catch, a few more baseballs in use. So I'm going to go see if I can snag one or two more before the game starts. They launched from about 70 spots all around the country, but they actually did so. Whenever I enter a major league stadium, my number one goal is to get one baseball and keep my streak alive. I think right now it's at 1,309 consecutive games where I've gotten at least one ball. So I definitely don't ever want to get shut out. But then once I do get one, or in this case two, I start thinking about what my other goals are for the day and what types of balls I want to snag. So the Orioles this year are using commemorative baseballs for their 25th season here at Camden Yards. I haven't gotten one yet, so that's one of my... Oh. Toss one up, please. Toss one up. Thank you. Oh, look at that. I've been dying to get one of these baseballs. A 25th anniversary ball for Camden Yards. There are basically three teams this year that have commemorative balls. The Braves, the Mariners, and the Orioles. And I've now gotten all three. It's been a pretty good day so far for me, despite the lack of batting practice. I got three toss-ups, and I also got four autographs, which you can see right here. I got three different Twins players to sign. Craig Breslow, Adam Wilk, and Brandon Kinsler. And then, walking along Utah Street on my way to get some Boog's Barbecue, I spotted the man himself, Boog Powell, so I got him to sign. He spent 17 years in the Major League, starting in 1961, mostly with the Orioles. He hit 339 career home runs, so great, great, great former player. And we got to chat for a little bit. He told me a really funny story of hitting a guy guy in the head the with a batting practice homer in the upper deck of the old Comiskey and on the very next pitch he hit the guy Orioles again offense. and then brought him Located down and signed some balls but really right cool guy top. glad to chat with him and get him to sign and the game is going to be starting up in just a little bit. It's the top of the fourth inning, and the Twins, who are rocking first place right now in the AL Central, are winning 4-1. to one. 
Now, I've talked about how you sort of have to be adaptable to whatever the day throws at you. I was prepared to sit in the outfield. There were like 13,000 fans here yesterday, but today is a huge crowd. It's like double or triple that. Not much room out there. I'm just not really feeling the home runs. So I've been hanging near the dugout where I bought tickets actually, going for foul balls as well. I haven't gotten a third out ball, and of course, while I was down here, one inning with two outs, Manny Machado hit a foul ball exactly where I was standing. Would have been the easiest catch on the fly. So, no luck so far, but I still got six more innings to work with. It's the bottom of the eighth inning. The Orioles are catching up. They hit a couple of home runs in the seventh. Chris Davis, Jonathan Scope. I wouldn't have caught those balls even if I'd been in the outfield. And in the middle of the seventh inning, Jeff Smith, the Twins first base coach, tossed me the infield warm-up ball. So that's four total today. Gave a couple away to kids. And guys, this breaks my heart, but I actually have to leave the stadium now in order to drive almost an hour to Nationals Park to get there for the start of BP, which might sound crazy to some people. Why would you leave a game to get there early for warm-ups? But you know how it goes. That's when all the action happens for me. So this is a rare example. When I will leave the stadium early, I hope you'll forgive me, and we will pick this up over at Nationals Park in just a bit. Well, hello from Nationals Park. Had a little bit of an issue getting here, hit some traffic, and that was my fault. We should have left Camden Yard sooner, but I really wanted to stay and try to get a third out ball, and I did, and the timing was really funny. My videographer, Brandon, was filming me throughout the game. The first seven innings, balls were getting tossed up every which way, and the moment he left the stadium to go get the car, like a minute later, Where the heck did that come from? All right, so I'm on the board here in DC, and as I was saying, the moment he left to go get the car, I ended up getting the ball that ended the eighth inning. Chris Davis struck out. Chris Jimenez, the Twins catcher, tossed it right to me. So look at this. Hope I don't get hit in the back of the head. But I ended up getting two commemorative baseballs at Camden Yards, the 25th anniversary balls, and the, the second one that I got has a pristine logo. So. I just got in the stadium here in DC. We, we arrived at like 5.20, so I missed all of Nationals batting practice. My friend Tony Voda from Minnesota got four baseballs before I even got in. So I don't know what just happened with that ball flying in, but it feels good to be on the board. I'm gonna turn around, pay attention, and hopefully catch a few more. Pretty sweet swings right there by Kyle Seeger, Robbie Cano, and Nelson Cruz. A lot of action here today, and I got a bunch of balls within a pretty short amount of time, so let me try to catch you up. The first one, when I had my back turned and I was talking to you guys earlier, it turns out that that was a toss-up from some random Mariners player. He airmailed the fans, landed in the seats, grabbed that. Then I caught a home run out in left center, not sure who hit that one. Fished one out of the gap with the glove trick, and then James Pazos tossed me my fourth ball well, not of the day. It's my ninth ball of the day, but fourth ball since I've been inside Nationals Park. So, off to a good start, and if I could get one more and hit double digits combined for the day, that would be pretty cool. Batting practice just ended a few minutes ago, and there's really not a whole lot to update you on beyond what I just said a little while ago, but I did get one additional ball, and my cameraman was distracted and didn't film it because there was a girl out here who actually got hit in the face by a home run. So let this be a lesson and a warning to all of you. You really gotta pay attention. And she was sitting like 15 rows back. Maybe she just figured they wouldn't hit it that far. But these are major leaguers. They can hit it pretty much anywhere. So the last ball I got, you can see right here, my fifth of Nationals Park, so 10th overall in the day, was tossed up by Hisashi Iwakuma, and I asked him in Japanese. Chotobo, oro nagete kudasai. So that's always fun. 
and I guess there's about half an hour until the game starts. Maybe we'll do a little pre-game throwing, I gotta grab a bite. So just catching my breath until the action begins all over again. And there it is. Oh, look at this. It's a 40th anniversary Mariners ball. They weren't using any of these during batting practice for some reason, but if you saw that video that I filmed in Philadelphia recently with my GoPro, I got like five of these that day. And I also got one in Cleveland from the Astros. So seven of these commemorative balls, and I got the Orioles balls, and I got some Braves ones as well from the first two games this year. So doing all right on the commemoratives front. It's the top of the third inning, and I'm out here in left center field in an area called the Red Port Seats, which is really pretty nice. There's nine rows of seats that are padded, feels comfortable on the old buttocks, and then up above, there's this terrace seating, and I don't know, they're not really walkways, but there is some room to move around in case anyone really blasts one. Right now, the Nationals are on top five to one. In the first inning, Anthony Rendon hit a three-run shot. I was actually standing on the staircase up against the glass that borders the bullpen, and the ball that he hit was right at me, and it fell like 10 to 15 feet short. So it's nice when one even comes near me and I feel like I have a chance, but this spot in general is pretty good overall. Crazy day of baseball is over. Let me try to wrap this up for you. First, let me say that the first game I saw today in Baltimore did end as a 4-3 final. The Twins won that one. There were 32,000 fans at Camden Yards. Much bigger crowd than usual. My first ball of the day, the one that was thrown by Hector Santiago, was my 200th of the season. And I looked it up. This is now the 14th consecutive year that I've gotten at least 200 balls, going back to 2004. So despite the fact that there was no BP, I got five baseballs, made it over to Nationals Park a bit late, got in the stadium at 520, missed all of Nationals BP, and I still got six baseballs. So this game ended up as a 5-1 to one final, the Nationals won it. All the scoring took place in the first two innings. Started in left center field, ended up in right field, had a little room, Bryce Harper was intentionally walked twice. And with this new intentional walk rule, it happens so fast, no one even knows it. It's like the home crowd would have been booing, would have been an electric atmosphere, so that's kind of a bummer. But I digress. 11 baseballs total on the day bring my lifetime total up to 9,685. So moving closer to 10,000, and I've now been to 14 different stadiums this year, and it's still May. So my big season rolls on. I gotta go. Tonight's game was only two hours and 28 minutes, and that's good, because I gotta drive back home to New York now. Thank you guys for watching.